you know things ain't always sweet when you out here in these streets. But my morph when it morph, I made a fake. What's going on, everyone? Welcome to the fan club. It's your boy Dan Brosnan in the building. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. What are your guys' thoughts on Power Rangers Dino Fury? I know that I make videos every day talking about the show, doing fan predictions, getting your predictions, but this is all about what you guys like about the show and what I like about the show, but I want to have a fan discussion with you guys. We're one season in and we're just a few months away from getting season two. We still don't have a release date. We don't have a trailer and we don't have any indication on how the episodes are going to come out. Like, is it going to be weekly? Is it going to be monthly? Uh, is there going to be like um, spring and then winter where you get two like halves of the, the season? There's so many different questions we have there. But I wanted to talk about why I love this season and why I think it's special. And I also want to get your guys' opinion. And, you know, you guys are very important to this channel. And what you guys say kind of goes on a lot of things. And that's where I get my inspiration to make content. And I know that if you guys are asking for this, it's going to hit. So what do you guys think about Power Rangers Dino Fury? How do you compare it? to the last few seasons. I loved Beast Morphers, but I think Dino Fury just has a little bit more extra space to work with. Like they were given um, just more, more open possibilities with Dino Fury and they've been letting the actors and actresses leak information they've they've done it a lot differently i mean i've never seen this many instagram photos of the cast and all the behind the scenes stuff that we got we normally don't get that kind of stuff even you know the, the ninja steel and beast morphers cast i know when they were doing interviews they said it was very lock and key like you can't really post much and these rangers were doing hella interviews when they were down there and basically giving up some secrets like Chance Perez told us about the Netflix announcement like three, four months before it actually was announced. That was pretty crazy. So I can tell that they've been working and giving these Rangers a little bit more free range, which is nice. And it shows on the show too. They're easing up on some of these sub bond restrictions we talk about. Now, the Sabam restrictions that I, I, I bring up from time to time are the way that the show is constructed. Saban's old shows used to basically be kind of all filler episodes in a way that none of them really went together. You could watch them out of order all you want. And besides like the beginning, middle and end, nothing really goes together. And so that would have a lot of slapstick comedy and a lot of like lessons of the day that were just reused time and time again. I am not against a good lesson of the day. I think that it's good to have, have something that you're learning along with the show if you do it right, though. I hate the forced ones, like where they, they just force something in there. That's what Sabam is doing for a while. Lessons of the day shows are not bad for all my 80s and 90s kids out there like most shows had a lesson of the day in it right it's just about how you do it and i really like the messages that dino fury is trying to send i love how for the first time ever we've got we've got an lgbtq ranger and talk about you know representing for millions and millions of people and they they did that pretty tasteful too. Like I've said from the beginning before this even happened, anything and everything is good with the right taste, you know, because it is a kid's show, but why why couldn't they do it the way that they did that? That was tight, man. And 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 from, you know, I feel like, like I'm an ally. I got your back on that because there's nothing wrong with how they did that. Like they didn't do anything too nuts. They didn't force anything crazy you didn't see the girls making out like i'm cool with that so that's something where i don't want to talk too much about this again but i had to just say that i thought that that was cool and it's getting it's getting nominated for awards and people are looking at the show now because they're thinking outside the box there's nothing wrong with that and 
Now we can get into why I think the show is good. I think the writers, the actors, directors, everyone is just on the same page on this show. Um, the chemistry is good. The characters are amazing and the backstories are dope, especially for this being a kid show. I sometimes, you know, call it a kid show because we don't have a huge budget on this, all right? That's basically it. And they try really hard to give you more of a story and a lore and we're getting Ranger history now. We're grooming that next gen of Ranger fans. It's, it's an amazing show in my mind compared to all of the other Power Ranger shows in the past. Dino Fury is where it's at, man. Um, how would you compare it to, you know, shows in the last 10, 15 years? Um, I, I just love and appreciate this show for doing a lot of different things, trying to do something different. All the characters are badass. I know like everyone's most hated character is uh is Ollie for some reason, but I'm like the one guy that really likes Ollie. I think he's freaking hilarious, and I love that they have an asshole in there for once. But he may his character makes sense to be an asshole because he's the scientific one. Like he doesn't know how to talk to people sometimes. Like it's all a real thing that makes sense to me. And I know, I I know the homie Este, I think he said he didn't like Ali, but that, that's okay. Dude, we all have our characters we don't like. He's he's not dumb or nothing because he doesn't like him. Este's the fucking Power Ranger go to my opinion, or one of them out there. And I see why people don't like him. He's arrogant. He throws his homies under the bus. He's the asshole of the crew, and we all have one. We all have that homie that is kind of a dick, but you need but you need that sometimes. You need that 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 asshole personality does come in handy. I got one buddy, dude. He's an asshole and he's a sore loser, but he's one of my best friends. And he will always look out for me. And if someone's ever messing with me or like trying to scheme me or trying to do something, you know, not the right way, he'll come on in and help me and be, give me that personality. So I, I kind of like it, man. I, I don't think, you know, I don't think that it will work for him to be an a-hole the whole entire series. We want to see some more character growth, but yet I, I appreciate that character. I can't lie. It's relatable. I have a few friends that are like that, but they're also good people. And so is Ali. He's not a bad person. He's learning. He's, he's figuring out how to be a good friend too at the same time. Because yeah, he's been a crappy friend a couple times. But unlike the warden, he's apologized. So he's growing. So like, that's kind of fun, man. Um, but what do you guys think? What's your favorite character? I love Zato's story. I know we got to get more of Zato. Ion, so cool, man. I, I think that he was the missing piece. You know, that, that group of five was almost perfect. And then you bring on this other personality with the dope ass Texas accent, cracking jokes coming in there trying to be the leader like this dude's dope man i can't even lie like he's adds a whole nother dimension to the power rangers amelia is like could be the key to everything uh we know that her parents are missing pop pop knows something they could be attached to void knight and santara who knows man this is just the the funnest thing um and then you, you got Javi and Izzy. Izzy has been shining. Javi, we need to get to see some more Javi. Love to see some more music episodes in there because he can sing too. Chance can sing, man. So I I think out of all the characters, I'd like, I'd like to see more development out of Javi the most. But they're all going to get some time. I can feel these stories coming in season two. But I want to know what you guys think. What is your favorite part about Dino Fury? How would you kind of rank this in the last 10, 15 years? Are you guys digging it as much as me? Let me know in the comments. We love you guys so much. Thanks for watching the fan club and we'll see you next time. Peace.